Hi guys, Andre from Random is here and today I'll be looking at this. The Anker PowerPort PD2 USB-C Wall Charger. We've quietly transitioned into a new tech phase where companies, just Apple at the moment, are bringing out their new and existing phones and because of environmental reasons, they're excluding the wall adapter from the box. The Anker PowerPort PD2 is a cost-effective solution to provide you with fast charging not only to one device, but two devices simultaneously. I purchased mine shortly after I got my iPhone 11 so that I could take advantage of its fast charging abilities, as I was certainly not going to get that from the 5 watt adapter that came as standard. So let's go and have a look at the useful side of the PowerPort PD2. Opposite the plug side, you've got the USB-C slot, a USB-A slot, and a light on top which illuminates blue when plugged in. The USB-C port offers PD charging, which stands for power delivery. This is quite a new form of fast charging. In the past, where USB cables were used in a mixture of data connection and charging, reliability and quality across different cables differed vastly, with some being better at data connection while others better at charging. You may find this if you've ever bought a cheap cable at a pound or dollar store in the past. With PD charging, all USB-C cables and adapters have to meet set standards for their number one priority, providing the most power to charge your devices safely, which means we should now expect consistent fast charging across devices, with the added ability to provide greater power support for bigger devices such as a MacBook, which this PowerPort PD2 is now able to support via 30 watt charging. You may notice the IQ with a lightning bolt above the USB-A slot. This is Anker's own Power IQ 2.0 technology, which also boosts fast charging capabilities of the USB-A slot, although not as much as the USB-C power delivery does. You're able to charge your device as long as it has fast charging enabled from 0 to 50% in about 30 minutes. To ensure that you're going to have those consistently high charging speeds, usually on the USB-C side, you need to make sure that you've got a high speed USB-C PD compatible cable. So that's the Anker PowerPort PD2 charger. Two charging ports, one USB-C and one USB-A that allow you to the convenience of simultaneously charging two devices at once, while at the same time providing your device with the optimum power required for it to charge as fast as it can via power delivery and power IQ, ridding you of the need to have loads of unnecessary, possibly unreliable cables and adapters. You're able to buy the PowerPort PD2 on Amazon, on the Anker website, and more expensively on the Apple website. Although it does come with an Anker USB-C to USB-C cable, I'll link these in the description below. If you've bought a new iPhone or any other phone and the manufacturer doesn't provide a charger, or even a fast one in the box, then the PowerPort to PD2 could be the adapter for you. My thoughts on Apple excluding the power adapter are mixed. Yes, there is definitely a need to reduce e-waste as I'm sure. If you buy a lot of tech like me, then you're going to have loads of cables and adapters just lying about gathering dust. And as you can see, the size of the packaging of the new and existing iPhones on the active lineup have now shrunk considerably. On the other hand, if you bought a new iPhone 12, you're only getting a lightning to USB-C cable in the box. I've got loads of the standard USB adapters, and but none with USB-C, which creates this dilemma. Are you going to have to buy a USB-C adapter? Which is where the PowerPort PD2 comes in. What Apple probably should have done was include a lightning to USB-C cable and USB-C adapter this year, and then next year drop the adapter and leave the cable then at least there would be some USB-C adapters amongst consumers, especially those who are upgrading from a iPhone 12 to 13, as opposed to now where anyone upgrading from any of the past iPhones that had lightning slots, and those who may have had any other supporting devices that didn't have USB-C are having to buy additional USB-C adapters on top of their phone purchases. Is this a clever marketing ploy or tough selling by Apple? And who do you think is the next company to follow up Apple and ditch the wall adapter. Just let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. It'd be greatly appreciated and press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. That's all for me today. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Why don't you go and watch one of these two videos here before the time runs out. Three, two, one.